In this video on C Sharp Basics, we're going to talk about using suffixes. First, we're going to talk about what suffixes are. Then we're going to talk about why we need suffixes. Then we're going to talk about how to use suffixes. And finally, we'll go over a list of various suffixes you'll be using. So what are suffixes? Suffixes define the type of literal if the literal is not a default type. You can think of a literal as the actual value that you're trying to assign to a variable. Now, if the literal is not of a default type, then we need to add a suffix. So why do we need suffixes? Because the compiler uses default types when parsing literals. So the compiler, when it reads a value of a literal, it's automatically going to try to use one of the default types to parse it. If you're trying to assign it to a variable that is not of a default type, then you're going to run into an error. So how do we use suffixes? They're pretty simple, actually. They're just like with literature. We put them at the end of a value. Here's an example of display decimal, where at the very end, we've added the letter M. This tells the compiler that the value is in fact a decimal literal. One additional note, is that you should use capitalized letters for clarity when you're using a suffix. You could use the lowercase value of a letter. However, some of the lowercase letters tend to look like numbers and it can make for some confusing code. So here's a list of various suffixes that you'll find frequently used. The suffix L indicates that it is a literal long. The suffix D indicates that it is a literal double. The suffix F indicates that it is a literal float. The suffix m indicates that it is a literal decimal. The suffix u indicates that it is a literal unsigned int. And finally, the suffix ul indicates that it is a literal unsigned long. Now don't worry if you don't remember all of these things. Visual Studio will give you some indications as you're typing your code. Here in our main method, we're going to go ahead and add a new variable. So let's go ahead and comment out this display double. Now let's go ahead and create a new variable. This variable is going to be of a type decimal. Now the name of our variable is going to be display decimal. Now we're going to first try to assign the value of some random number here. So we'll go with that should be good enough. You can see the red squiggly line underneath our literal value. This is Visual Studio indicating that there's some sort of problem with the value that we've entered. Let's go ahead and hover the mouse over the value to see what the IntelliSense tells us is the problem. IntelliSense tells us the literal of type double cannot be implicitly converted to type decimal. Use an M suffix to create a literal of this type. So Visual Studio gives us a cue as to what the problem is and how to resolve it. Let's go ahead and put an M after our value. And just like that, the problem has gone away. Now, of course, we get the green squiggly because we're not using our new variable of display decimal. So let's go ahead and change that. Now let's try this with a long. Once again, I'm going to go ahead and comment out my decimal. And I'm going to add a new variable. I'm going to call this a long type of display long. And the value, let's just go ahead and assign it some random whole number here. This time we did not get the red squiggly line underneath our value. But if we hover the mouse over it, we can still see that the value represents a 64-bit signed integer. So what's going on here? Sometimes the C-sharp compiler is able to perform something called an implicit conversion. Since there is very little difficulty in evaluating this int to a long, the C-sharp compiler goes ahead and does that for us implicitly. However, it's good practice to go ahead and put a suffix at the end of your literal value. If we use the lowercase letter L, you can see that it has a lot of similarity to the value of one. This can certainly cause some confusion. So instead, you might want to use the capital letter L. Now let's go ahead and change all of our references to display long instead of display decimal. And then once again, let's go ahead and save and run our application. Everything looks good in our console window as well as our output window, so everything worked just the way it was supposed to.